All right, everybody, welcome. It is launch day of Ultra Street Fighter 4, and I am checking out the new characters in the lab, so to speak. We're going in the training mode with each one to check out a few things about them. Luckily for me, I know most of them, although one of them I have no clue what the hell the character is about. So without further ado, we are starting out with Rolento. That is right, Rolento, who debuted in the Street Fighter series in Street Fighter Alpha 2. He actually was a boss from Final Fight, the old-school side-scrolling beat-em-up from Capcom, and they integrated him later in, on into the fighting games, okay? So, here we go, Rolento. Now costume, you're gonna notice I have an alternate costume. You may say to yourself, why do I have an alternate costume? It's because I owned Street Fighter Cross Tekken on this console that I'm playing on, and therefore it actually has this cool thing where you get a bonus costume if you own if you owned that game. So that's why I have it. Okay. I actually want to see what the alternate costume is, so I think we're gonna try that right away. Here, let's try it in a black outfit. Now, here's the thing. This is the new thing about Ultra Street Fighter 4. All characters have two ultras like usual that you need to select one of, but you have the ability to actually have both of them if you would like. But the Ultras do less damage. For the purposes of training mode, duh, we're going to pick this mode. So we have access to both Ultras and we can try them both out. Okay? Oh lord, how many costumes do I have for him? <clears throat> Here we go. Training stage. Your destiny will be determined here. Will it now? I think my destiny was determined a long time ago. Are you ago. ready? <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell kind of costume is this for Rolento? He's got a fucking plunger. Are you fucking serious? A plunger, really? Why? <laughs> Alright, delightful. I can't wait to see how this is going to work out. <laughs> okay, so... What we're gonna do is go through his, his, his moves. First, I want to check out his normals. Medium. Heavy. I wonder if this is still anti-air. I hope it is. Hope that's still an anti-air. Standing roundhouse. He's got the sweep. Wow, the sweep has really good range in this. Look how far away I am. Okay. We've got jumping attacks. Okay. This is still the downward spin. It is. Doesn't cross up, okay. And boom, does this cross up? No. Jumping fierce punch does not cross up. Nope, okay, jumping light kick. Medium. And that's his cross up, his jumping medium kick. Yep, and a jumping heavy kick. Which almost looked like it crossed up, but it didn't. Okay. So let's take a look at his special moves. <clears throat> So, I already know what they are, but I just want to show you what they are. He has the ability to throw a dagger, which is called Stinger. He's got a Mekong Delta attack, which all it really is, is a freaking jump back roll, which he can then use to do a counter hit afterwards. He's got an air, uh, air uh, not air, I'm sorry, a wall dive similar to Vega, although it is a rounded motion rather than a actual uh, charge motion like it is with Vega. He also has a roll back that goes into a overhead uh, attack. And then he has what's called Patriot Circle, which could be three times similar to Fei Long's Rekkas uh, from Street Fighter. So, I know all that, but what I also want to look at... Oops, I forgot to look at his Ultras. That's what I want to really look at. So his Super is two quarter circles back at Punch Minesweeper. His Ultras are two quarter circles forward with either punches or kicks. We're going to see what the hell those are, okay? These are the throws. And then he does have some command hits. He's got, a, I believe it's overhead with uh, medium with medium kick, trick rod. No, actually, you know what? I think that's the, the, the pogo. Because he has the spike rod, which is the pogo. And then when you land, you press all three kicks. So let's try some of these out. First of all, there you go. It's a trick. If they're trying to attack you low, forward and medium kick, you'll jump over what they're doing and you'll hit them. I don't think you can combo after it, though. You got this, the pogo in the midair. Look at that. So you can hit with one pogo and cross up into a combo afterwards. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Okay. So, what else do we have? They said, well, you're landing all three kicks. That is not it. That was a taunt. 
Maybe it's when you're getting knocked down. That's what I'm thinking, because it's not doing anything when he's jumping. We'll have to try that later. If getting knocked down, hit all three kicks. So if you hit all three punches together, you get this back back jump. If you hit a punch when you land, it'll actually roll forward. So it's like a counter attack. You hit the drop on your opponent, okay? Um, quarter circle backwards is a backwards roll. It can be used as an evasive maneuver, or to just get the hell backwards. Instead of back dashing a hundred times, it takes a while. You can just do that to get out of the way. And then if you actually hit punch afterwards, he does a big jumping attack, which I believe you can actually combo at. Well, I didn't do it that time. Yeah. Yep, there you go. So that comboed. Um, what else? He's got the wall dive, which I want to show you. That's quarter circle back and kick. You can just do it and hit nothing. I'm trying to remember if there's a fake wall dive. There used, I think there might used to be, but I don't know if he has it anymore. Or he just drops straight down. Hold on. He had that in one game, but I don't know if he has it in this one. Nah, he doesn't. Okay. But, wall dive. See, watch this. It turns into a jump in. There you go. So it turns into a jump in attack. It can be tricky. Because there's three different distances. I'll show you by getting mid-screen here. You got one that stays a little bit in front. One that goes a little bit further. I believe this one's full screen. Now they're all about the same now. Huh. They're all about the same distance now that I'm doing it. That's a change. They actually changed the distance, I believe, on the wall die. That's interesting. And then, like I said, the one... We're doing repeated quarter circle scroll combos together. Now let's do the EX versions of some of these moves and see what those do. Let's do the EX this, this one. Here. Whoa. More, much faster. Oh yeah, good combo right there. And that could be a really quick, uh, you know, counter hit leading to a combo. How about the EX wall die? Oh yeah. Let's see what this does. It goes over. Oh, I screwed it up there. Yeah. 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 There you go. There you go. So if you do the EX wall dive, it actually has a chance to become an overhead. That's cool. You can cross them over and hit them with a cross-up attack into a combo. That's nice to know. Um, the only one move I didn't use yet was the dagger, which I forgot to use. I'll try that right now. I'll try and see what it does here. All right, the dagger. Oh wait, let's do the EX Reckus. Here you go. It's a it's a single knockup. Okay. Can you do it in the series? No, you can't. Once you start the series, you cannot do an EX Reckus after it. Okay. Now here's the dagger. Light kick. That one goes almost straight down. Medium kick. And then heavy kick. So heavy kick is the best one. Obviously, it goes full screen. Um. Now what I'm curious to see. Or EX version. Whoa! A triple dagger. That's interesting. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Looks like you do more damage the closer you are. That actually comboed. That was pretty nuts. Interesting. Okay. Now let's look at his supers. You got his regular super. Ready? Now, that was interesting because his regular super is almost instinct. You saw that? In, in previous games, that was fucking slow. I wonder if you can combo it. Let's find out. Ready? Fire! Yes! You can actually combo his super. I'm actually surprised at that. <laughs> That's the combos, too. You can do two... Two to three uh, slow jabs into medium kick into the Rekkas. That's good. Now let's look at his Ultras. This is his first Ultra with punches. No! Whoa! I think that may juggle. I have an, a theory. Let's see if this works. Oops, I didn't do it. Try it again. Yes! Okay. So there you go, after the EX uh, Rekka attack, which, let me see what they actually call it. I call it the Rekkas because that's just what everyone calls it since Fei Longs are called Rekkas. They call it what? Patriot Circle. So after the EX version of Patriot Circle, you can combo Ultra 1. 
Let's see what Ultra 2 is. Nice! I remember this move. Tripwire. Okay. Now let's see what the distance is on Ultra 2. Ah, okay. Let's get a little closer. Got him! Wow! It has outstanding range and it's fast. So what that means during a fight, if someone's throwing projectiles at you, do that ultra right through the projectile. That'd be awesome. So Relento has two pretty viable ultras. One that you can actually combo easily and another one that's a, almost a, a full screen go through fireball move. That's really nice. That's really nice. Okay. So let's try some basic combos. The one that he doesn't have, I'm noticing, he does not have his super jump. In previous games, if you just press down and up, Roletto would have this like way arcing jump. They took it out. He doesn't have it anymore. That's interesting to me. Uh, so let's just try some basic combo stuff here. First of all, close fierce punch combos into the, uh, what do you call them? Patriot Circle. Ah, it's much harder to combo jabs into stuff now. Damn. They dropped the combo. Wow, it used to be so easy in Street Fighter Cross Tekken to do that. Now they really made the timing more difficult. Wow. That one I could... It would have worked, but I did the wrong version. Heavy is too slow. Or not. Let's try it with only two jabs. Wow, it's still slow. You can't do it. Wow. It doesn't combo off of two jabs anymore. What about one jab and the medium kick? Oh, I have to actually get those to combo. Damn, it's harder now. Wow, the timing is so much more difficult. And Street Fighter Cross Tekken, that was his bread and butter. Now it seems like it's actually hard to do. Huh. Alright. Wow, that's interesting. That's very interesting that they nerfed that. Okay. Um, so what is his bread and butter then? That could be good. That might be a standing standing fierce. This is typically a good move. Nah, it doesn't combo into itself anymore. It doesn't combo. Wow, I am very surprised. They nerfed his bread and butters. Alright, so basic strategies. I think I've got down Pat now that I've tried out all the moves. I think I'm going to take him into some arcade mode and see what we can do with him.